What's going on everybody? It's your boy RaiderSman3179 came back with another DIY project so this time I'm going back to my part 2 of SML. Okay so for those of you guys that did not saw my SML on um, part 1 the link is on the description down below if you guys want to see it so I recommend please watch the first one before the second one. So for those of you guys that did saw it, um, in case you guys did come back, um, let you guys know that um, this will be a part 2 of SML. This time I'm going to do the names of the of the actors with Logan, Chili, Tito, Lance and the um, probably I might do Pablo and um, um, Lavelle in case I have the extras but I might do it I'm, I'm probably sure I will do it but yeah I'm gonna do all their names and all that stuff and I can't wait to do this project it's gonna be awesome and all that stuff I can't wait okay so here I am I'm back for part two so right now I'm going to my phone because I want to know how to spell Logan's last name and yes I don't know how to spell 30 acres because you know I never heard of the last name that much until when I found out about Logan's his last name but it's all good. I'm not going to tolerate or anything like that. So anyways, well right now what I'm doing, like for those of you guys that did saw my part one, I did accidentally use a marker because, you know, I made a mistake on some of the stuff on the part. So this time I finally get to use a pencil first. Now remember, to be fair, if you're doing a good project like that, always make sure pencils go first before you use any markers because not just markers, it stains forever. But whenever you made a mistake, it's not going to go away. So I recommend start with pencils first before you start with a marker. Unless you have a marker with an eraser, which I don't know, it's I never seen a you know like a uh, eraser for a marker. But anyways, it's all good. I'm not gonna tolerate not unless you have a board. Anyways, um, I'm not gonna get to the point. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm doing each and every character's um, names on the sideburns right now. So it's working out great so far right now. I'm just like making a texture, like just to make it like a simple, nice, neat, and everything like that. So all that stuff. So. Also, remember guys, just to be aware, remember whenever you make mistakes, like I said before, oh, you can erase it, but even though sadly, erasers don't go away, like it doesn't make the, the pencil stains go away that much, but you know, it's all good, at least, you know, you can barely see it, which you can ignore it, and you can just focus on the drawing. So after all the arrangement I have done, I finally put all the words together and everything, as you can see in the video, and there you go. Well, after all those pencil work, now it's time to do this marker and start tracing them all up okay so after the long pencil work of everything and after a few of those mistakes that I finally get to erase now I can start with the marker so the good thing about marker is that it has a texture line so where to cut and where not to cut because that's what I need to do like it's like telling me which line to cut which line not to cut so that's like it's telling me a mark for the machine so before I get ready to start the router machine I have to make sure that everything has to be textured nice and neat correctly because if I don't do it then where am I supposed to go and all that stuff so that's all I can say right now so you know as right now like I say I'm just um, you know tracing down with um, the marker line from where I draw the line with a pencil and carefully I've done as I can because you know sometimes I do make a little bit of mistakes so I just hopefully it doesn't which you know it stinks to make mistakes and everything and all that stuff so that's all I can do right now so for now so as you can tell right now, it makes, uh, like I say, because yeah, I'm making a permanent marker and everything and all that stuff. So once the texture is, um, it's always finally completed, I finally get to use the machine, which is getting ready to be used and all that stuff. So I have to make sure, you know, just be careful, like I say, because, you know, sometimes markers, you know, it can make mistakes and sometimes woods have line stains that's going to cause problems, which it's a pain in the butt. Uh, seriously, it does. Well, after all permanent marker, Check this out. Not bad. Can't wait to see what's gonna up what's up in it and we're gonna see the router. Here it comes. And don't forget to mention it, I have these just to protect my eyes from all the dust. Oh, but first let's start with the dust mask, the one you guys saw earlier on my video. Then we can turn on our thing. Not turn on the thing, sorry. Just put all these safety glasses, and last but not least, protecting my ears. Can't wait, I can't hear all you guys, but we're gonna see what's happening. So, super excited, so we're gonna get it on.
also guys let you know that um basically remember when every machine like this machine or anything that has to do with that is active please i recommend please do not put your hand on any body parts in it not just the dumb way to do it but it's also very dangerous and it can cause injuries or death when it's been happening in time i know that um you know that people can say well it doesn't cause death and it's not that serious so remember not just use your finger but sometimes if you lose if you have a, like a blood pressure or anything guys with this that's just, I'm just saying, you know, for safety reasons. But anyways, you know, right now, um, also let you guys know that the machine, what I'm doing right now, you know, in the end, once it gets to later on, once you're used with it, sometimes it's in my, you know, the muscles inside your um, arm, you get a little sore. Well, not really, I'm not fully sore, but I can feel the, you know, the little sore, not in a hurtish way, but kind of like a, uh, just like a weird feeling and all that stuff while I'm moving it. And plus, keep that in mind when a machine, like when I'm using it, um, sometimes the machine can go on its own directly somewhere else. And sometimes it makes a big mistake or sometimes I don't pay attention, so I have to make it work for me. So yeah, that's what I'm that's all I can say guys, and that's a quick fact. So remember, when you do anything, stuff like that, if you want to do a fun project, just always keep in mind safeties and everything to, for a reason. And all that stuff, for the longer the longer that you uh, follow the rules and everything, you will be hundred percent okay. Well, since I'm covering all wood and stuff finally got this thing ready so it looks amazing we're gonna check it out I gotta sand this thing and here we go Okay, so I guess we got everything wrapped up. Well, we're not done yet. I still got to do the little sanding thing, which is pain in the butt. Then we're going to start painting. Can't wait how it looks. All right, right now I got this, which this is what I was talking about. Yeah, this thing's a pain in the butt, but it'll take a while, so <laughs> let's get it going. Yeah, keep that in mind. This is what I'm talking about. It's a pain in the butt and everything to do with all that stuff. But it's all good in the end, it's worth it to work hard because you want to make it nice and personal. Oh boy, after a long of this work, now I finally get to do this. It's finally good, now it's time for some painting. Okay, so um, this is what you're going to have to do. This is a three-way part of painting. So first thing you got to do is you got to paint the background. So what I'm doing is I'm painting the entire background color with the same color. Like for example, um, Logan's name is going to be the blue letters outline and it's going to be a red background. So right now I'm painting everything all in red. Same thing with like Chili was supposed to be um, green with the pink lettering and Tito will be the um, blue background with the yellow um, lettering. So like, like always. So what I'm doing right now, I'm painting the background colors right now. So yes, and I'm also painting the entire letters too because it's part of it and no it's not part of the colors it's going to be resand so all that stuff so once you do everything something like that you um completely already done like you're seeing the video right now as you can tell that um it's already done all background colors once after that once you're done with all the um background colors you are now to sand the entire paint just keep in mind do not push your sander harder or anything it's gonna scratch off the entire background paint and you don't want that so right now i have to keep it level wise and to keep it smooth and yeah it's gonna be um you know a little bit of work because i have to rub it around back and forth and back and forth it is a pain in the butt to do that um i don't think i don't know why it does it but you know it is what it is so i'm just not gonna let it be because it's worth it not to stop my painting and after that you um paint all the entire painting colors once you get all the painting colors remember guys keep that in mind be careful because sometimes the painting colors can get to the uh, background color so i recommend get as a little bit as paint as you can and just paint it as carefully as you can i recommend with a little brush because um 
it works out great and depending how how big or how you know how long your letters are and everything like that it's um it's a really a lot of work and keep that in mind it is because and it also is a pain in the butt because sometimes yes it has happened to me every time when i wanted to paint the uh, color letters it does the um colors landed to the background and i didn't like it and i have to wait to let it dry a little bit and i have to like you know go back to it and recolor it and it's a pain in the butt but you know it's all good you know stuff happens stuff happens after once you get done with all the entire of the lettering and everything like that and once you do that next up you move on is to the um wood stains so right now as you can look at the video right now i'm doing the um, wood stains right now i'm trying to make the wood look perfectly and normal as seen as it can just to make it look like a, the wood looks texturing and everything all that stuff so um you know that's how we're trying to do it you know just like for example like imagine you have a cabinet or anything like that you want your wood to look like one of those um like come out from a tree something like that so you're just painting it like that and by the time when you're done you're finished completely done this is what's going to happen and look how it works i know some of the wood stains is like a little bit mess but it's worth it in the end and it's a lot of work but it's all good all right guys hope you guys like this art draw man that was really intense how i did it Voices but anyways guys don't forget to like the subscribe button and um this will be the last time i'll be doing super mario logan stuff i'm going to be doing something different something more than that so anyways Take care, guys.